Does that belong to a stir fry? Does this size? No, chef. You know, I gotta have a big mouth to put this in. What rice did you use? I used basmati rice. You know what you're doing? I would like to think so, chef. You would like to think so? Think again. There's 30 minutes left in the stir fry elimination challenge. As long as the flavors come through, I'm definitely safe, maybe even number one. I only eat two kinds of Chinese food. I eat crispy ginger beef, and I eat spicy Singapore noodles. We need to make rice, and I've never had spicy Singapore rice before, but why not? It has curry in it, it has multiple meats like shrimp and pork. I think just the flavor alone is gonna allow me to stay today. Medic! Cut my finger. Everything I go to do, it's just, it's going in the opposite direction to the way I want it to go. Can I still cook with my other hand? Hi, Kyle. Alvin, how are you today, Chef? I'm good. Are you confident? I'm very confident. Very confident? You're not going home, eh? No, I'm definitely not going home today. Tell me, what are you making? I'm doing a sesame crusted cod. I've got some nice mushrooms done up, bok choy. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this with my chopsticks. Good luck, I hope it tastes good. I'll step it up a notch now. Debbie, how are you? I'm fine, Chef Claudia. You seem a little bit flustered. I uh, cut my finger. What are you making? I am making uh, ginger orange beef, or orange pork, excuse me, and... Uh, are you gonna saute some glasses in there as well? You probably... Just keep uh, that away from the food. Be. Yes, exactly. Keep your eye on the time. Yes, it's I am. Flying by. Quasi! Yes, sir. What's the flavoring uh, in these uh, rice balls here? Chili oil, a bit of sesame seed oil. Yes. And a tiny little surprise. You're not gonna tell me. Well, I hope it's a good surprise. I do not like bad surprise. I know that. Good luck. Thank you. You have five minutes left. Kyle, he's got a lot going on there. But the vegetables are really, really big, so I don't know how the heck are we gonna eat it. Well, Lynn, she's doing a sesame beef stir fry. It looked and smelled great when I was there. Oh my gosh, my rice is glue. My veggies, limp as noodles. One minute! You have one minute left! Yeah. Let's get to it now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heads up! We've just challenged you to cook a restaurant quality stir fry. Now it's time to find out who pulled it off and who will be asked to leave the MasterChef Canada kitchen. But before we do, we're going to offer John a huge fourth advantage. John, we're gonna give you the opportunity to choose one more home cook to join you in the gallery, saving him or her from elimination. I'm hoping that he's gonna take pity on me. I'm looking at my plate and I have no fears. I'm not looking for a handout. It's not looking good. I need to get pulled out of the trenches. Okay, John. All eyes are on you. Who are you gonna choose? I wanna pick someone that I think I can beat, and I know if I don't save them, they're probably going home. I'll choose Jennifer. Thank you, John. I freaking love you right now. Jennifer, you're safe from elimination. The rest of you aren't so lucky. At least one of you will face elimination today. The only thing that'll save you is your dish. So let's start tasting them. Tammy, can you please bring your dish up? The dish is a seafood stir fry with curry, ginger, cilantro, and basil. From my first look at this, I think it looks absolutely spectacular. You've got all the classic ingredients of a Thai-inspired stir-fry. Hopefully it tastes as good. Crisp, crunchy, fresh, bright flavors. You should be very proud. Thank you. Put 
putting together things like coconut milk, lemongrass, tamarind, ginger. It's very authentic. Thank you. Holy cow. I think I nailed it. Debbie, please come up with your dish. It's marinated pork tenderloin. I marinated it in orange juice, poison sauce, garlic, and ginger. Debbie, the flavors of Asian cuisine are big, bold. This, we could use more. You need to amp it up. We want flavor. Thank you, chef. I get the orange flavor. I'm not getting the other Asian flavors. And obviously, plating just didn't come together for you. Thank you, Debbie. Kyle, please bring up your dish. I feel I'm gonna impress the judges with this dish. I did a sesame crusted cod, rice done in a lobster mushroom broth, and bean sprouts, onion. I tell you, Carl, I had surf fries all over the world. I tell you, I've never seen it like this. Mm. You know, throw away the chopstick for this one. Does that belong to a stir fry? Does this size? No, chef. You know, I gotta have a big mouth to put this in. What rice did you use? I used basmati rice. You know what you're doing? I would like to think so, chef. You would like to think so? Think again. Kyle, the inspiration for this came from where? I used some ingredients from the East Coast and, and some Chinese ingredients. Do you think you wandered too far from the original? Well, there's certainly a lot of flavors going on. That's part of the problem. I'm not even sure why the radish is there. Just not well executed. Thank you. I should have kept it simple, trying to think outside the box too much. Andrew, please bring up your dish. I'm incredibly nervous. This is uh, crispy ginger beef on top of spicy Singapore style rice. I used some sesame oil, garlic, ginger. This is my first time having Singapore rice. My pleasure. That's good. Thank you, Chef. And the rice, it's really absorbing all of those wonderful flavors. And it's balanced. Very good. Thank you. Andrew knows flavors. He's good. Michael, please bring up your dish. We have a lettuce wrap filled with duck stir fry. definitely uh, an unusual approach to a stir-fry. The filling, a little on the dry side. There could be more vegetables on this. That balance is missing. I think, Michael, when you cook, you need to just loosen up a little bit. Take off your jacket, sort of connect with the food, and just let it flow. Lynn, you're up next. This is crispy sesame beef. There's gnocchi mushrooms, sweet peppers, with fragrant basmati rice. You have a lot of big flavors going on here, which is exactly what I want in a stir fry. Rich, bold, unapologetic flavors. Thank you, chef. You know, we asked for a stir fry. You gave us a stir fry. Vegetable done nicely, rice perfect. This dish is restaurant quality. Thank you, chef. Lynn's proven in the last two challenges that she can really throw down. Quasi, please bring your dish up. 
It's a vegetarian stir fry. I went with uh, red, yellow, and green peppers, They're kind of my colors. Also, some sticky rice balls. How do you feel about this? I'm pleased. You're pleased? What kind of flavoring did you put in there? Ginger, some chili, a bit of tamarind paste, some coconut milk. Tell you one thing. Couldn't taste any of it. Sticky rice balls. Yes, sir. Is this a surprise? There's a bit of lime in there. The surprise is the lime. The taste. The surprise is the taste. The whole entire taste. I'm surprised, but not in a good way. Deborah, can you please bring up your dish? This is an orange chicken stir fry, a lime leaf infused rice, and a chive ginger oil. I have never stir fried or used a wok before. Hmm. All right. Hmm. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Good crunch, clean flavor. I guess the first time is a charm. Thank you. Well, we need to take a moment to discuss. Some, I think, just wandered too far off the path. It's not going to be easy. This is an elimination. Someone is going to be going home. We agree that we've made the right decision. Let's do it. John, Jennifer, David, please go back to your stations. We asked you all to give us a restaurant quality stir fry. Several of you managed to produce outstanding dishes. And one of those dishes, one that left us wanting more, belonged to Lynn. You will be a captain in the first team challenge. I'm shocked. I'm one of the top two. It was a great dish. And there was only one home cook that made a better one. They reinvented a delicious classic. We're talking about Andrew. <laughs> Woo! I did not expect to be the number one cook today. Congratulations, Andrew. You will also be a team captain in the next challenge. I'm feeling fantastic. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs>